Hi guys, I'm here to share another family devotion with you. Um, I'm just going to share with you what God shared with me today, and um, hopefully it's for somebody out there as well as me. Um, my reading today is from Jesus Always by Sarah Young. I am the word that became flesh. I have always been and always will be. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Um, as you think about me as a baby born in Bethlehem, don't lose sight of my divinity. The baby grew up and became a man, Savior, also God Almighty. It, could, it couldn't have been otherwise. My sacrificial life and death would have been insufficient if I were not God. So rejoice that the Word who entered the world as a helpless infant is the same one who brought the world into existence. Though I was rich for your sake, I became poor so that you might become rich. No Christmas present could ever compare with the treasure you have in me. I remove your sins as far as the east is from the west, freeing you from all condemnation. I gift you with unlimited glorious life that will never end. The best response to this gift is to embrace it joyfully and gratefully. Um, as I read that this morning, I have some scripture with that too. God just kind of spoke to my heart about um, me personally. I love to give gifts. I do not like to receive gifts. I have trouble receiving gifts, even compliments. Um, that's just something personally I have to work on with me, and maybe some of you have that too. Um, when I was a new Christian in my faith, um, I would pray, but I wouldn't want to hand God what I considered all my garbage or my sin. Like if I did something wrong, um, I felt like it was up to me to deal with it and to fix it. I mean, God already forgave me. He accepted me into his family, which I am so thankful and grateful for. That's something I cherish. Um, I wanted to talk to God and to listen to grow in his word and to do anything and everything I could for him. Um, but I felt like I created my own problems and... Um, Shouldn't it be up to me as a responsible adult to fix them? Well, he sat me straight. <laughs> um, he let me know he shed his blood and he died for everyone, for all sin, big and little, every day new. The little things, um, he wanted it all. And it builds this strong rooted relationship that, um, that love is a bond that'll never be broken. And I did learn to be obedient to trusting him, to giving him all these little things that I just thought were insignificant to him. But it creates such a beautiful, intimate walk with him. Uh, the roots grow so deep. The love is so vast. And you just learn that he, he treasures all of that. Um, and so the scripture that went with that... Um, was John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. He has seen, we have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Hebrews 1.1, 1, 1. in the past, God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets at many times in various ways, but in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom he made the universe. 2 Corinthians 8 For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for our sake he became poor, so that you through his poverty might become rich. Psalm 103.12 as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. So what I really learned from him is about accepting gifts fully and that there's blessings in that. 
So receiving the blessings is wonderful. Giving blessings and gifts is wonderful. Um, and we have to trust how he created all that and just um, give that to him. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the message today. And I'll just say a quick prayer. And um, I hope that he speaks to your heart the same as he did mine. Um, in whatever part of this message he has for you. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for just speaking to each one of our hearts individually. You know, the way we're created, the way you know us, the way you've made us, um, to help us to just connect to you in such a personal way that you can just grow, grow us to be more like you each day. Help us to take these lessons that we learn and to share it with others and um, continue to grow your kingdom. Everything is for your honor and your glory. I pray for everyone out there that is suffering in any way. I pray for your healing touch, your comfort, your love to reach out to each one of them that's listening. I pray, Lord, that you will Give us opportunities to share you with others and uh, just always give us the words. We thank you for all these blessings for this difficult year and we know that we have a future in you tomorrow. We thank you and we love you in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you guys for listening.